For a long time, Democrats have been trying to win elections by appealing to centrists, to people who are undecided between voting for a Democrat or a Republican. This has pushed the Democratic Party to the center as they clamor for centrist votes. Meanwhile, the Republican Party has been moving further and further to the right, winning elections by galvanizing the most far right among them. This has led the entirety of American politics to lean to the right. Republicans win most of the elections, and then Democrats spend all their time trying to play nice with the Republicans so that they can continue to win centrist votes and not be seen as obstructionist. Republicans get their way, enacting policies that harm marginalized groups, and Democrats continue to lose. There's a better way we can do things, though. Democrats could go further to the left. Right now, plenty of leftists are fed up with the Democratic Party's centrism, and so they don't vote at all, or they vote for third parties. Those are the people the Democrats need to go after, not the mythical centrist who consistently fails to vote for Democrats. Because the current way of looking at elections seems to assume the situation is like this. There are people on the left who vote Democrat, people on the right who vote Republican, and people in the middle who sometimes vote one way or another. You already have the people on the left, so you need to reach for the people in the center. But that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. In reality, millions of Americans don't even vote. In the midterms this year, only about 49% of eligible voters actually voted. In the 2016 election, only about 60% of eligible voters voted. That's a huge pool of people to tap into. And that means there's a fourth group you can reach for, the leftist non-voter. Recent elections have shown us that that group can be a much greater asset for winning elections than the centrist voter. Plus, then we get more leftists in office, which is better for our country as a whole. This year, leftist candidates beat out centrist incumbents all over the place. There was a blue wave led in no small part by leftists. A perfect example of this is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who beat out a centrist Democrat in the primaries and then beat her Republican opposition in the midterms. She's now headed to Congress along with a bunch of other progressives all over the country, not because she appealed to centrist but because she appealed to leftist non-voters, the ones who felt the centrist candidates didn't represent them. So we need to stop trying to make the Democratic Party appeal to centrists. We tried that, and it didn't work. For the last two years, Republicans have held the presidency, the Senate, and the House. And with Trump's new Supreme Court appointee, they essentially have control over the Supreme Court as well. The Democrats' past strategy hasn't worked, not even a little bit. So it's time to try something new. And that means leaning much further to the left. Get leftist voters excited to vote for a Democrat. Get some candidates running who are members of the DSA, the Democratic Socialists of America. Engage people who haven't voted in elections because they felt like no one represented them. There are millions of potential leftist voters out there. You just gotta make them care. Give them a candidate they can really, truly believe in, who runs on actual leftist policies. We've seen this working already in 2018, but even if you don't think it'll work, you might as well give it a try. Because what we've been doing so far has obviously not worked. Like, this isn't a foolproof plan for every area in the country, sometimes centrist candidates are going to win out, but there's a hunger in way more places than you'd expect for more leftist policies. People are tired of being screwed over by a terrible healthcare system, having a minimum wage so low they can't survive, and enduring nearly constant mass shootings. It's time for a change, and that means running leftist candidates at the national, state, and local levels. We need to care about every election going on because this isn't just a national problem. If you are a leftist, consider running for a position at the state or city level. And if running for office isn't your thing, get out and vote even in smaller elections because those things really matter. And the other part of this that we need to remember is that Republicans are incredibly good at rigging the system in their favor. Gerrymandering is a huge problem that can't always be overcome by increasing voter turnout. Voter ID laws and other forms of voter suppression put in place by Republicans tip the scales even further. Stacey Abrams lost the race for governor of Georgia not because fewer people wanted to vote for her, but because of ridiculous levels of voter suppression by her opponent. And the longer we let Republicans remain in charge, the harder it's going to be to take back those seats because of the way they're implementing different forms of voter suppression. The time to fight back with more leftist candidates is right now. 2018 had the highest midterm voter turnout in a hundred years. People are sick of what the Republicans are doing. We need to keep increasing voter turnout so that we can reverse their efforts at voter suppression and put into place laws that will make it easier to vote, like automatic voter registration, making voting day a national holiday, expanding early voting, and ensuring that everyone has vote by mail as an option. That's the only way to secure fair elections in the future, because right Right now, Republicans are doing their best to make sure future elections are far from fair. The move to the left from the Democratic Party is long overdue, and it can't wait any longer. Anyway, that's all I had for you today. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can click over here, and if you'd like to subscribe, you can click up here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.